Okay, so we're going to do another example, and this is in the health um, health um, industry. Okay, so in medicine, so we're going to look at uh, Allied Health. So it says for medications provided in a liquid formulation, the amount of liquid given to a patient depends on the concentration of drug in the fluid. Medication X is available only in a liquid formulation with a concentration of 100 milligrams per milliliter. Okay, so medication X has a concentration of 100 milligrams per milliliter. Okay. Supposing Physician orders 225 milligrams of medication X. Okay, so the doctor orders 225 milligrams of X. All right. To determine the amount of liquid required, first note that 100 milligrams per milliliter must be, uh, means that one milliliter <clears throat> Of liquid contains 100 milligrams of medication. Okay, so we want to um, we want to know the liquid. So here's the medication, right? The medication comes in bottles, right? Vials that have this concentration, let's say. The X has this concentration, 100 milligrams of the medication for every um, per millimeter, or excuse me, milliliter of solution. Okay? Now, he orders 225 milligrams of the drug. So we want to know how much of the solution, how much of the volume of the solution do we need? Well, we set up a proportion, right? So we know that this can be set up as 100 milligrams per one milliliter. And we know that he wants, the doctor wants, not 100 milligrams of the medication, but 225 milligrams of the medication. And so we want to know, okay, how much of the solution does he need? So now this is where, again, nursing comes in, right? Nurses have to be able to make sure that they calculate this stuff. So if we calculate for X, all we do is cross multiply. Okay, so we cross multiply and we get 100X equals what? One times 225, which is just 225. And so now we have a simple equation uh, to solve. And so we divide both sides oops, by 100. And of course, all this means is we're going to move the decimal point to the left, two spots. So x equals 2.25 what? Milliliters. And let's look at the unit analysis. What happens? Well, this is milligrams, right? This is milligrams. So this here is what? This is um, if I multiply here, so I multiply here, I got milligrams times milliliters, right? So here I've got milligrams times milliliters divided by milliliters. Well, the milliliters cancel and I, oh, hold on. Oh, 
I got this backwards. This is milligrams. So that doesn't... Right, 100 milligrams. So this is going to be milligrams, canceled with milligrams, I end up with milliliters. So that's the amount of solution that the patient needs. Okay. Have a great day.